It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my series where I'm playing as the United States of Central America. We are a democracy, believe it or not, with 40% fascism, which we're working on. <laughs> We've been working on that for a while, too. Anywho, the final objective well, is to eliminate Germany and end World War II. That's kind of the end objective. We might be able to do it on this episode, maybe. I'm not sure. It's difficult to tell. Like, there's a certain point in the game where Germany finally decides that, ah, oh, we're broken, we can't advance anymore, the game's officially over. I still haven't sure if they've reached that point yet. I'm really not sure. Regardless, we're going to advance here, and we're going to try and push to the north, grab Marseille, and then we're going to swish and push further north. All we're trying to do is connect the front lines to have a unified front to push further forward. So connect these two, connect these two, and Germania. That's right, capture Germania. Alright, how is Germany doing anyway? Because they're low, below 50% stability, that means they're susceptible to bad crisi, crises. Oh, what the? Oh, okay, so they're, they're unscraping the barrel. And they're feed. okay, so they've still got manpower left, but it's feeding in slowly, okay. Alright, can we get used to pushing to here? And... Oh, we've not got any planning bonus. So we probably should build up some planning bonus before we go. We'll activate the plan now, even though they're not in position. You know what would be really cool too is I've talked about this on the previous episode, but it'd be cool if you actually gained if activating staff office plan gained your planning bonus, even if you're not on the front line. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Even if you don't you don't have to gain the full amount, obviously, because that'd be too OP, like fifty percent. What is happening here? That'd be kinda of cool though, wouldn't it? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, it'd be cool. Alright, so yet again, as you can see, when we push forward, we push them back, and for the most part, we push them back unrelentlessly, just charging them forward, uh, but they have more division than us, so they can just do things like this, cheeky things like this, that's really annoying, yes, yes. <sighs> okay, can we push Marseille, that would, that would be nice. These dudes here, push Marseille. Probably not going to be enough attack power. But four divisions? That seems like a lot. Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. We could try and encircle Marseille, but it doesn't matter. We, we just want to end this. We want to end Vichy France. That's the objective now. Some interesting templates that AI chooses to go for now, like artillery based templates. You can see the artillery model. And then they're pushing further north, pushing further north. Go here. Is that good? Is that good? I think so. Then these two cities, and there's one city left in Vichy, France, and they should capitulate. Should. Not guaranteed, but probably should. Adults serve 1.4 million. They still haven't put that in the game, have they? You know, if the AI's got a lot of manpower. Hallelujah! We did it! We did it, boys! Lois, <laughs> we did it! <laughs> We did it. It has been done. Congratulations. Victory is ours. The glorious United States of Central America. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go for a little bit of uh, communism, you know? Oh, look at these beautiful pie. Beautiful pie! This is still connected here, isn't it? Yep. How many divisions have they got? Zero. That's a number. I like. I like that number. That's a good number. Okay. The next push will be... Well, I said I was going to try and join the front lines, but I've changed my mind, actually. I think we're going to go for that instead. Because I'd like... Oh, there's a pocket opportunity here, so I want to go for that one first. Uh, you guys on the rear of this. Push forward. Push forward. You here. Go, go, go. They're advancing westward a little bit. There's a lot of divisions here too, so if we can connect the two up, hopefully the... I feel like all I'm doing is I'm not actually winning. I'm just fixing the AI from doing silly things. Does that make sense? Can we like go here, here, and here? And you guys go here and here. And that should create a pocket here. Yep. Yeah. 
Liberia has joined the Allies. Well, that is the beginning of the end, right? We know that the game's officially over when Liberia decides to jump in and we can't push the mounds. I really thought we could do that as well with a combination of the adaptable trait, but we can't. The penalty's not that bad. It's just the di divisions in the mountains are actually pretty strong. Maybe the, there's some bad weather too. And we've not got air control either. There's a few factors hindering our progress here. Yeah. Ah, I thought this would be an easy pocket, but it's not. This is hills. No, it's plains. Oh, in that case, we want to push this then. Can we do that? Oh, please. If I can close this pocket now, then we can move somewhere else and do what we need to do when we need to do it. There we go. Yes. What? There we go. Took a moment for them to reinforce, but now they've reinforced. They're in position and they can do, do some spicy damage. Are you pulling out or pulling in? I'm not sure. Oh, I love it when they retreat into the pocket. Oh, that's good. I like that. Liberia has joined the war. Okay. Luxembourg has capitulated. Oh, hello! So it looks like after uh, the dormant pocket that's been dead for a very long time, years almost, has suddenly sprung to life and the Belgians have decided to plow into central Germany. How's the manpower going? Yeah, they've got loads of manpower. I knew they would. They're nowhere near capitulating. I think they've switched to... Scraping the barrel a little bit early, but that's just a classic AI trick. It's like, it makes you think they're losing, but they're like, uh, no, we're not actually losing. We're not actually losing. We, did, we, did, we totally tricked you. We got you. We got you, bro. We got you. They go here. They go here. Italy has 22 divisions scraping the barrel. Zero manpower. Which is to be expected, the fact they have no possessions on land, apart from here and here. Well, actually, no. Do they control this? No, because we have control of this because we've got the factories. So they've just got South Tyrol and Istria. Oh, I guess Zara as well. But is that a colony? It's a colony. Go here. What? A horse? No, I don't want the horse. Actually, can you, like, not be in this area? Yeah, can you, like, get out of here? That's great, thanks. Go here, go here. Not you. Here and here. There we go. Close the pocket, please. There we go. Ah. Oh. The sight of Overrun. The glorious sight ever. Close these. Yes. Overrun. Overrun. Done. Alright. Would the heroic attack be here? Would that be the hero charge? That looks to me like the charge of a hero, right? Okay, it looks like the counterattack's happening here too. It looks like we can create a bulge in the side of central northern France. <gasps> Nukes, you say? Rockets, you say? Staff office plan. This could be a crazy pocket. There's no ports they've got access to, too. Still got good supply in the center, though, haven't they? And off we go. I have spotted that's one floor of this build. There's a lack of reinforce rate. Yeah, there's a slight lack of reinforce rate for this build. We notice when I engage in combat with more one division, there's not enough attack power. But I'm lo I'm lacking so many things. It's like I, I haven't got the production to make a forty width. I haven't got manpower to make. 
like that many divisions to fill the front line. I am limited on like so many different things, so I'm just making the best of what I've got. Let's go service by requirement. Oh, a modern tank, you say? That I probably won't even make any of, which makes me real sad, but not all we can do with that. No, there's not enough to do that. I thought maybe I'd piggy banked enough tanks to use in one go, but I can't. So we do struggle all over with the tanks. Can't obviously pierce them, which makes sense. Oh, push into the Maginot. Probably not the best place to attack. Do you know what? I want to close this pocket. Yeah, I've decided. I am going to close this pocket. Because if I close this pocket, that means I'm going to get the manpower and the casualties for this. So I, I want to overtake the USA in casualties. That's what I want to do. Well, not, not casualties. Casualties dealt to Germany. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. Oh, a super heavy tank. Can we, like, make a front line here, please? And everyone go here. That would be great. Are these still connected? No, they're not. I'm seeing this light blue and I'm confused. I'm like, is this who I'm attacking or is it not? I'm not sure. Let's have a little cheeky look. So, the attack penalty versus urban. Oh, this is not going to be a fair test. Uh, let's have a look. Forest? with forest? Is 8%. 14%. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, the game. Pause for a second then. Please don't. Please. Please don't crash on me. These front lines aren't connected, no? Germany, how are you doing? Uh, they're doing great. I, they're doing great. I'm always in this belief one day I'm going to burn Germany out and be like, nope, they can't do anything. There's no more attack power now. They're dead. They're gone. Ripperino. Cop Coppuccino. Go here. Push him in as well. You know what? I actually embrace the fact they they've reduced soft attack for the for our whole armies now. I actually like that because now def defense plays a bigger factor, tanks are a bigger factor, planes are a bigger factor. It's um, I think it's a change I welcome. I say things. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not decided yet. 100. It makes it a lot difficult for when I'm playing a nine nation like this. I have to rely on like in this case mixed divisions with tanks and artillery and whatnot to make the most of. Oh shit. Can we close that, please? Go here, go. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Go here, go here, go here. Go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. Here, 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 here. here. There we go. So, so many casualties, it's beautiful. out okay we're gonna Dunkirk them now that's right get into the sea Here, and you guys are pushing here. Good. And close here and here. You guys go here. Yet again, the Germans still have a lot of troops on the front line, though, don't they? Can you encircle that, please? That would be nice. Please, AI, would you like to attack? 
yeah, that would be great. Go. Alright, this is going to be like a tidal wave. I hope it's going to be like a tidal wave. Oh, baby! Oh! <laughs> oh, that was so good. Oh, give it to me. That was so good. That was so good. Oh, yes. Now that is the that is the definition of porn, right? Come on, right? <laughs> that is Hearts of Iron 4 pornography. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, go here, and then go here. Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna do the classic trick here. If the AI puts let lot rate divisions on the front line, I'm gonna punch into them and try and create a big diversion. What will happen is he'll move a load of his divisions from this front line to the north. Which is good because that will leave the front, not the southern line a lot weaker. Aha! Aha! Um, uh, mamma, 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 Go here. Every time I look at that, I like have like a double take. I look at it and I go, Berlin. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not Germany. Or is it Germany? You don't even know anymore. Oh, that's good that you wait for me. I got really nervous for a second and I was thinking to myself, oh no, please. Can we all be on this front line, please? Go here. Staff office plan. Do your thing. We've gone through the Maginot. This big thick of the river. Uh, the Alps are still proving a problem. Um. Greece has managed to hold? Good on you, Greece. Good on you! I believed in you! No one else did, but I did. I believed. I don't know why we're still doing technology sharing. Repair? Yeah, the repair one's gonna be good. Go for the infrastructure. Do that. How many suppressions do we need? Nine. In that case, we just make it bigger, right? Yes. Everyone asks me, why don't you make MPs, Dave? Why don't you make MPs? Well, I think MPs are trash, okay? They require research time, which I don't know why they require research time. Um, yeah, and I think they're rubbish. I really don't think they're very good, so I don't make them. Yes. It's just easier to add more horses on, to add more suppression by adding horses on. So I just decided to do that instead. Simple as that. You know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going to go and pull out as many resources out the earth as possible in one go, right? Yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make the earth dry of resources. And go. Wow! I can't believe it! They're really putting up a defense. Okay. Well, I, uh... I did have a plan, and I did say the plan was to try and distract them. I think I managed to do that, because they've put their best troops here. Go here, go here, go here, go here. Can we get around the back of these tanks? <laughs> Can we do it? I believe. I believe. Oh, I think we've done it. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Go here. I don't know how. Oh, we actually, I was about to say how we're piercing those tanks, but we have got heavy tanks our own, haven't we? So I guess that's how we're doing it. Oh, 
Oh, this is glorious. Oh, oh, have we done it? That is, oh, that is the killer question. That is the icing on the cake. Have we inflicted enough casualties? Um, where is it? Too many. Here we go. There we have, look. 3.8 million inflicted by the United States of Central America. The United States, a measly 3.6 million. Ha! Ha! We have done it, boys. The dream has been achieved. Congratulations. I think that staff office is planning him. I feel like all I'm doing is just building planning bonus, guys. That's all I'm doing. Oh, the counterattack! The Battle of the Bulge has begun! Oh my god, we're having a really hard time with supply. I need to try resources? No, we're alright. We're doing good. Doing good. Artillery's alright too. It's all good. It's all good. Mysteria assumes responsibility for colonial holdings. Oh, just as they capitulate. <laughs> oh! Actually, I don't think they capitulate at that moment. I think they switch places and then they capitulate again because they were already under the control of the Siamese, aka Japanese faction. China, how strong are you? Very strong. 27 million? Have you got enough manpower? Combined China and Japan, no, India and China, all that sweet manpower. Brutal. See, one element that bugs me, and I have mentioned this in a few other games that I've done, is that after when Japan's been pushed off the mainland, China should try and integrate all the warlords, and the warlords should have like this battle between each other as well, and try and fight for the number one in China. But that doesn't happen. It looks like the commies have been pushed off, though. There's no commie China. Maybe when com communist China disbands, maybe Xinjiang should become commie China. Or one of the others, like... Yeah, maybe one of the others. All right, are we ready to go again? Let's go. Oh, they're not going to move because of the supply. I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way and manually move troops. I feel like such a peasant. Go here, then go here. The only problem with manual moving them is you get a quicker dec decay on your... Uh, whoa, you really dug in. Yeah, you get a quicker decay on your planning bonus, which is annoying. Oh, what's this? Berlin has been taken. Well, maybe? Berlin. 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 I, I could just say Germania. Germania. G -g 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 oh, no, they've not got it. <laughs> They tried, though. They tried. Can we grab you guys and go? Yeah. Ah, I thought this would be the end. We're having trouble with supply really badly. The AI is doing its classic strategy where it tries to overfill supply points. It's really good at it. What the hell? Commander skill, 57%. Wow, okay, that's something I've not seen before. That's a fresh meme, guys. Oh, there you go. And we have liberated our good bodies, the Danes. And uh, the, the UK pocket is uh, not looking too sweet. They tried to make a dash for Berlin to try and capture Hitler himself. And by the looks of things, the SAS have failed miserably. But they, uh, they'll fight for another day. Uh, how are we doing with suppression? Looks alright. Does it say we need any more? 12. We have 8. Does that number scale? Why are you... Oh, we do need you here because you're suppressing this, aren't you? Here, 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 here... Oh, the repairs are going quite nice now. Oh, cool. Oh, we're really struggling with manpower. It's not trickling in very quick, is it? Oh my god, it's chromium. 
Give me more chromes. Give me the steels. Give me more steels. Well, we've reached a point where I can say that we really don't have the capabilities of having 132 factories, right? I think we can say that officially, right? Is that an official thing? I think we've, uh, well and truly, well and truly, uh, outproduced our ability to make and defend the amount of troops and land that we've got. Yeah. Okay, I can't produce too many. I have to have a little bit of resources in the bank. Otherwise, I'm going to have troubles. Uh, go here. Jeez! They seem to have got crazy defense. Okay, there's a combination of two things going on here. I've just realized. So one, they've got 100% war support. So that means they get an extra 10 and maybe 20%, do they? On core territory, I think it's ten percent. Yeah, I think it's ten percent. And plus, they've got some general that's like some hardcore defender. Maybe they've gone for desperate defense as well. Maybe. And they're not moving. Let's go for Mecklenburg. Oh, it was a fail. 25 divisions, damn. Extra supplies. Down for office plan. That costs 26, and that costs 26, okay. Just making sure, making sure the game's not trying to steal my, uh, Precious CP. You guys moving over? Yep. You moving over? Maybe. Go! Take him! There we go. So close to Germania. So close. Oh, they push back and push back in, in and out, in and out. I'm not sure. All right, we should probably stop right now. We're not making any more gains again. What's with the defense? It's over a thousand defense per division. I have not seen that level of defense before. I feel like I'm the only one making any gains as well. I've got to give it to the AI right now. I don't know what they're doing, but they've gained some really awesome defense. I don't know how they're doing it, though. I really would help if the, the Netherlands uh, gave me access to this land. That would be really cute. Oh, thanks, dude! Oh, AI is so helpful. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> Convoy rating efficiency, yes. We've not hit any convoys in here in a very long time, probably because we have full control of this region, so we'll move these guys over. Can you go through Gibraltar now? Yeah, of course you can. There's a small, tiny radar there. Cute. Cute little radar. Alright. I think we might have to call this because I don't think we're uh, at the end quite yet. There's always that point where it kind of feels like they've they've fully tip over and Germany just can't hold the amount of front lines that they've got. But I think Balos thinks they're still doing alright. What might have happened is because they've annexed the Soviet Union, they might have lots of excess guns that the Soviets had. So they're just they're just putting guns in the hands of anyone now. But still it does explain why they're having so much luck. Holding these front lines, isn't it? Alright, so two divisions here. Here. Can we break it? Yeah, come on, get out of the way. Interesting pocket here, and one here too. <laughs> They're just landing anywhere they can now, aren't they? Ah, convoys. What are they importing by the chance? Oil, rubber, tungsten. 
Portugal, you mind not trading with the enemy? You know, that would be really cute about now. You know, if we just didn't like trade with the enemy, you know? Yeah. Alright, uh, can we do this? Narrow the front line. Go here. And then you're in place, then go here. Go, go, go. Supply is still a nightmare. Uh, still can't order the plan. Can we make the final push, guys? Let's do it on this episode. I believe we can do this. It's going to end right now. Greater German like is total 72%. Oh, hang on. Wait, no, that's not right. It's 30... Hang on. 34% towards capitulation. My excavation's done. Nice. That gives us a total of extra two chromium, right? <laughs> uh... Go! This is it! Take Berlin! Or whatever it's called now. This has not moved at all, this front line. And even here's a little bit shaky, too. Hey! If it wasn't for the fact that this... I was like, I'm trying to do this in quite as quick as possible. I'd actually be really happy by the the way the AI is digging in so hard right now. It feels like it feels kind of realistic, you know, like the, how the AI is like really desperately trying to hold by like maximizing every possible defense de defense opportunity. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. Remember, if you don't click on the bell icon, it's pretty much like you're not subscribed anyway. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you guys next time. See you soon. Bye bye.